I think one of the toughest things for transitioning to life outside of sport for a lot of people is leaving a team and not having that built-in group anymore. It's been a, a lot of years doing this lifestyle and a lot of time on the road away from home and family and friends. Um, but I've absolutely loved the community here. Um, but I don't know, I just, I have other things that I'm excited about in my life. I, I look forward to being able to not leave every couple weeks for a training camp <laughs> and spend the whole winter away. It really takes 100% commitment to, to do well at this level. And when that starts to go a little bit, you know, it's time to move on. But. After 12 years on the World Cup Tour, with two World Championship silver medals, Susan Dunkley leaves the sport as the most decorated biathlete in US history. Those medals were very, very um, special to me. That first one in Hochfilzen, I, I got because I shot clean and I shot fast. And uh, I used to be one of the slowest shooters on the World Cup. The transformation from being a slow shooter to one of the fast shooters and being able to have that World Champs medal at Hochfilzen was probably one of my proudest accomplishments of my biathlon career. The second medal came in Antols, where she herself was surprised by it. I do remember standing in the start pen um, before the race and looking around and thinking, wow, there's a lot of misses. I think we're going to have an unusual podium today. Um, I didn't necessarily think I was going to do it that day, but I did. And I, during that race, I got to ski lap with Claire, which was really cool. Um, you know, your teammates are such an important part of uh, everything you accomplish. And I was very glad to have her be part of that day for me. With Claire Egan also finishing her career in Oslo Holmenkollen, it feels like the end of an era for US Biathlon and a team that felt among the most united on tour. I, I don't think I would be doing this if it wasn't for teammates. I think being part of a team has always been such a big piece of my life the last 20 years. It's, it's a continental challenge to do biathlon from the US. <laughs> um, but because we are so isolated, we, the connections that we make over here are that much closer and that much tighter and it's just, you value them when you're so far from home. Any um, connection you can make with people that kind of makes you feel grounded is, is really important. Despite the retirement, Dunkley is hopeful for a bright future for biathlon in her country. I, I, I would hope that my legacy is inspiring other people to, to raise the mark even higher <laughs> and so that I won't be the most decorated U.S. Y athlete for long. Um, and I think that's the, the mark of success when you can inspire the generation that's coming after you. Um, we don't have huge numbers of biathletes in the U.S. and it's something that I've wanted to change for a long time and it's, it's, it's really tough. But we'll get there eventually. <laughs>